So I want to talk about the expression about the veil getting thin and why that triggers people because a veil is always thin. More my interpretation of what that means. <clears throat> With my limited human experience, I'm not an expert on death <laughs> yet. So I'm going to say that I use an analogy to understand it better. And that is a bride walking down an aisle. So if you've ever been to a wedding or you've ever worn a, or seen somebody wearing a veil, let's say you're at a wedding and the bride is walking down the aisle and she has a veil over her face. The closer she gets to you, you don't say the veil is getting thinner. You actually say the bride is getting closer. So if we pause for a moment and think about what that means, I think when people are saying the veil is getting thinner, I honestly think that it feels as though the division between us and other planes, our ancestors, etc., we feel closer to those ancestors and other realms. And there's a reason for that also. I will say that, first of all, Scorpio season. Scorpio represents all of that, right? Underworld things, occult, sex, death, everything that people are uncomfortable with. You feel the most comfortable with it during Scorpio season or if there are certain planets in the eighth house um, and all of that is a little beyond me so don't ask me any questions <laughs> you'd have to find good astrologers to uh, ask those questions of I am NOT a good astrologer this is my basic understanding and so we feel more safe especially Halloween is during Scorpio season right so we feel more comfortable exploring our shadow selves. October, especially in 2023 right now, we are going to be going through eclipses along with the Scorpio season, Friday the 13th, which is actually supposed to represent women. And uh, the whole bad luck thing was something that was trumped up to keep women suppressed, but that's another story for another day. I think that... I think that's what it is because think about all the times you're in your darkest space. If you are fe feeling in a really dark space internally, maybe you've lost a loved one. Sometimes we feel closest to those who have passed or we call upon our ancestors or we pray, whatever it is our spiritual ritual and belief system is, we practice those things mo when we're mo feeling most dark. That's when we're most inclined to, to cry out, right? And then there's just a normalcy around it when the earth starts going into darkness more. So when we're in the autumn period in the northern hemisphere or Scorpio season, I can't speak to the southern hemisphere, so that could be a flaw in my logic. We'll have to come back to that too. But I feel like in the northern hemisphere anyway, things are going more within we're reflecting on those who have passed. But think about all the cultures who celebrate the dead around this same time. I mean, it's, I feel like it's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence that these, you know, Mexico has the Day of the Dead. I would love to say Dia de los Muertos in a respectful manner. I try because it's like one of my favorite holidays, but I try to love it with and revere it from a distance because it's not my culture, but I was introduced to it by someone of Mexican culture and it was the first holiday I ever celebrated with her. So that was a big deal for me. So it's still one of my favorite holidays. Um, but I guess you get my point. To sum up, let's think about what the veil getting thin. Maybe we can come up with a new expression like, I feel closer to the veil because Remember, we're giving our power away to some degree. I feel like there's, there's a fine line between asking for help, which is healthy, and giving our power away. And sometimes we're giving our power away when we expect other things, entities, whether it's a god or a deity or an ancestor, to take care of all of our problems for us, you know? I, and when we say the veil is thin, then we're also 
giving all the power away to these other realms. I mean, science is even showing how there's other times happening. We could be having parallel universes and mutual experiences in another universe at this very moment. But we're so focused on what scares us, what's mysterious, that's frightening because it's innate in us to want to feel safe, right? And secure. And uh, I think we do ourselves a bit of a disservice by not grounding ourselves in this plane because this is where we're supposed to be. And yeah, do we want to ask for help from whomever we feel most drawn to, whether it's a deity, an ancestor, a specific person who's passed, um, God, Jesus, whatever it is that we believe. Um, there's different gods and goddesses too. So we have to take some responsibility for our place, our lot in life. And yes, sometimes, in my opinion, out of love, we might ask for help, especially when it's, for me, helping somebody that I love. And sometimes it's just easier and feels more natural when things are dark. Like I said in another video when it was COVID and everybody seemed a little more aware of the other, you know, because everything was more still and more quiet. So when things start getting more still and more quiet, we become more aware of our own life cycle and how that will include not just deaths while we're alive, because we experience little mini deaths of our own throughout our lifetime, um, but our actual demise. <clears throat> so, just something to ponder. Um, as the veil gets thin, <laughs> just to trigger those people that are paying attention and don't like it when people say that. We're getting closer to the veil. The veil is getting closer to us, vice versa. Anyway, enjoy your spooky season either way. And look, look at my cool shirt. I love it. Yay. Okay, bye.